Hello guys, I am about to go to Target. I got home, did a couple of things, and now I gotta go to Target. Um, I wanna show you guys my outfit. Everyone liked my dress today. Why can't I turn manual focus off? I don't know, but everyone likes my dress. It's just like lace and then like the sleeves, you know. Um, they're just like that. I also wore navy blue leggings to match with it because I needed to be warmer. Also wore some leg warmers because why not and some boots and I'm wearing this brown bag. I didn't wear this today. I wore my black one like I always do um, just because I need more, <laughs> more space. And this little guy I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him, guys, lately. So lately, he's been drinking a lot, a lot, a lot of water. And he hasn't really been able to hold in his pee anymore. And, like, I was reading online and that, that means it, it could be something really serious. So I'm just, like, we're super worried about him because he's drinking so much water. And even the other day, like, I got home and he peed as he saw me, like, a whole lot. And then I even took him outside and he peed, like, so much more. Um, I don't... Yeah. I know that he's drinking a lot of water, which is why he can't hold in his pee. But like when I read online, it's like when they start drinking a lot of water like that, like that means that there's something going on. And I'm just, I'm worried about him. I don't, I don't really know what's happening. But last night, I woke up in like the middle of the night and he's just like sleeping next to me on my pillow. He wasn't there when I woke up this morning. I guess he switched to bed in the middle of the night, but at one point, he was just on my pillow, and I loved it so much. It was so cute. Anyway, I am on my way to go to Target now. Tomorrow, my co-teacher is going to be absent from work. She needed to take a personal day. Um, so she's going to be absent, and since we're doing a trip on Friday, and we're going bowling, I thought I would teach him how to bowl and how to score in math class. So I am actually going to Target searching for mummy bowling pins because today's Halloween. So I'm gonna go search for mummy bowling pins. I saw that the Target near me has them in stock, but I couldn't like order them online or do like an order pickup or anything. So I just gotta go see if they have it and I really, 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 really hope they do. Um, my backup plan is gonna be like solo cups, like those red drinking cups that everybody uses for drinking. And then um, I was just gonna, we have like tennis balls cause they use them on the bottom of the chairs but they have like the slits in them but I was just gonna use that so I don't have to buy any using my resources guys. So I was gonna do that but I'm excited. Like I'm gonna like do the lesson with them. I'm gonna split the class in half so I'm gonna have some other teacher support tomorrow as well. But um, yeah, so um, we're gonna do the lesson and I'll, like, I'll ask them about bowling, like what they know, how if they know how to score and then I'll teach it and then they'll go bowl in the hallways and I'll have them bowl and come up with like their own numbers and then figure out how to score it so that when they go bowling, they can score it because it's supposed to be, this trip is not like a team building trip anymore like the first one but this one's more like it has to be connected to um, some kind of subject and it's math and then later we'll use that data to also find the LCM which would they which they have been learning about and also to um, so LCM and then also to what am I saying also for ratios units and proportions later they'll use that same data for that as well so I think they'll get a lot of use out of this data and that way it's also like theirs and they're gonna have be more interested in it I think so I think that's good all right guys I'm gonna go now I gotta go get gas and then I'm gonna make my way to Target and I'll see you guys later totally forgot to vlog guys but I did stories and um, I guess that doesn't really matter when I forgot to vlog. Like I brought my camera and everything and I forgot to vlog, but what can you do? So I'm just gonna show you my stories um, right here because I was gonna get the mummy bowling pins, but let me show you what I came across so guys, instead. I'm bowling with the kids tomorrow and I found a mummy bowling pins. So we're gonna play bowling Look how cute they are. while they're learning how to score. I'm so excited, and it's the day after Halloween, so mummy bowling. And you know what? I could use these all year round, to be honest. Like I don't even care that they're mummy. 
And now the only thing with that was that they were so gigantic and I needed at least three boxes of those. But to be honest, I have no idea where I was gonna keep those. Like, it's not like I have my own house or you know I don't have my storage thing anymore so it's like I don't even know where I was gonna put that I could keep it at school but like if I change schools I have to take everything from home for the summer and regardless you really have to take home everything for the summer anyway so what I ended up getting is something else which is mini bowling pins I didn't realize they're gonna be this small I thought they were a little bigger when I went to Party City but they're tiny little a mini bowling pin so I don't really know how this is gonna work yet but at least I could have all the kids play at once instead of like having to take turns because I was gonna split the class at first because I didn't know how I was gonna do it with like even three sets of actual bowling but you know what we'll figure it out and we're gonna make it work and the other great thing is that this whole pack of like 12 different sets was only three dollars whereas the other ones the big bowling pins were ten dollars each which isn't crazy either like that doesn't seem too expensive if I was gonna have it for a while but I just to be like I really just don't know where to store them I think that's what turned me off the most and why I decided not to get them because otherwise they were cool and I totally would have gotten them it wasn't even about the money it was just I just really had no idea where I was gonna put them so at least these are nice and easy to store I'm gonna separate them and put them in like Ziploc baggies um, so they don't get lost tomorrow when I use them with the kids. And then while I was at Party City, I found tic-tac-toe, also $3. You just separate the pieces and they can play tic-tac-toe, which is amazing. Like I can make, I don't really know how to use these in the classroom yet. Like normally I do like dry erase, um, the dry erase sheets and I put like the sheet inside and they could write on it. Um, normally I do that, but I don't know guys. I don't know. The bowling pins are just, they're cute. Somebody thinks it's for him. Is that for you, mister? That's not for you. That's for my kiddos. That's bowling. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. They're going to have doggy slobber all over it. They're going to have doggy slobber. What about this one? You don't like the tic-tac-toe? No? That one's not fun. 